Hello everyone, welcome to h &S Automotive and thank you for taking an interest in this 2011 Subaru Forester. Um, this is the premium trim edition. Uh, so in this video we'll do a quick walkthrough of this vehicle. I'll point out any imperfections the vehicle may have and then we'll also go over some of the features and functions of the vehicle. So without further ado, we'll get started. At first I'll just kind of walk around the vehicle. Uh, give you guys a general overview and then after that we will uh, dive in a little bit deeper and take a close look so here we are coming around towards the driver's side of the vehicle the vehicle is currently running as you can tell is a smooth running engine here we are coming around towards the back then here we are on the passenger side of the vehicle all right so from here I will uh, go closer to the vehicle and we'll check out any imperfections uh, that we can see um, to start off I'm not seeing a whole lot uh, this vehicle does only have about 50 uh, 54,000 miles on it so shouldn't be a lot of imperfections that we can see as you can tell engines running um, the AC is working great that's what you hear uh, cutting in and out and then here we are coming around towards the driver's side of the vehicle um, this is the driver's side fender once again not seeing any rock chips or dents or scratches the vehicle is in very good condition same thing for the rear door and the rear quarter panel as well um, the tires on this vehicle are in great condition um, plenty of tread left All right, coming around towards the back of the vehicle so as we stated earlier this is a Subaru Forester um, and this vehicle is an all-wheel drive as you can see right there and um, on the rear of the vehicle, as you can see, this vehicle is equipped with a tow hitch. Um, doesn't ever seem to have been used. It's nice and painted, but uh, it is equipped in case anybody needs it. Here we are coming around towards the passenger side of the vehicle once again. And no rock chips or dents or anything like that. No scratches that I can see. Um, there's this one, I guess, minor scratch right over here. A little bit of scratching right there but other than that nothing major that I can see and here we are back in the front so from here let's climb into the vehicle and check out the interior seating area all right so right over here we have the driver's door of the vehicle um, as you can see this vehicle is equipped with power windows as well as power door locks and then we also have the uh, lock for the rear uh, windows as well and here is an overview of the interior as you can tell it is a very clean vehicle all right so from here let's climb into the vehicle and uh, check it out all right guys so here we are behind the steering wheel um, as we stated earlier, this vehicle does have uh, 52,000 miles. Very low for its age. I'll put my seatbelt on. Um, there's no check engine lights or transmission lights that are turned on. Um, we do have this uh, tire pressure monitoring system light. Um, that just needs to get reset. All the tires are inflated up to the proper level. All right, so um, checking out some of the features and functions. As I stated earlier, this vehicle is equipped with uh, power mirrors. Uh, as you can see right over here and above that we just have the uh, dimming option for the instrument cluster zooming out um, so we have some steering wheel mounted controls on the right side of the steering wheel we have the cruise control operation and on the left side we have some uh, uh, stereo operation uh, from the cruise and then right over here uh, so this vehicle is equipped with Bluetooth connectivity so you can connect your phone um, and then this is how you can call uh connect and disconnect your phone um, 
also a very nice feature to have. Um, right behind the steering wheel, we have our typical controls. You know, you have your uh, turn signal stock, um, which also doubles as a headlight operation. And then right over here, we have the wiper controls, as you can see. Um, moving on towards the center of the dashboard, uh, this vehicle is equipped with um, a few stereo options. Um, as you can see right here, uh, the vehicle is equipped with USB. We just don't have anything connected right now. Um, also, you have CD, AUX, AM, FM, as well as satellite radio. And as I mentioned earlier, this vehicle is equipped with Bluetooth as well to connect your phone. Um, moving down, um, you have some vents right over here. And then below that, we have our climate controls. Um, as I stated earlier, as you guys probably heard, this vehicle... The AC in this vehicle works great. Um, heat works great, no issues there. And then beneath that, we have plenty of storage right here. And then right over here, we have the transmission selector. So um, this vehicle is an automatic. Um, however, if you like, you do have the option of uh, changing gears manually. Um, and then just running down, you have plenty of storage, plenty of cup holders. Um, right over here, you have your e-brake. Um, and then, yeah. So, do an overview of the dashboard. And then right here we have a glove box, um, decent sized glove box. There are some maintenance records available for the vehicle from the previous owner. Uh, gonna close that. And then here we are checking out the passenger side of the vehicle. Once again, it's a very clean vehicle. All right, so from here, Actually, before we move to the back side, um, this vehicle does have a massive sunroof, um, as you can see right here. Um, works great. Um, here, I can demonstrate it for you guys. So it opens all the way, uh, runs basically uh, down to the rear seat of the vehicle. All right. So from here, let's climb into the rear of the vehicle and uh, check out the rear seating area. All right. So right here we have the rear door. Once again, power windows, power door locks. And then here we are in the rear seating area. Um, it's got pretty neat cup holders back here. Um, this basically flips up and this flips down to give you some additional seating. And if nobody's back there and needs uh, additional space, you can just flip this up. And if you need an armrest, flip that down. Pretty neat little system. Let's climb to the rear. All right, and here's our view from the back seat. Very comfortable vehicle. Plenty of legroom back here. All right, so from here, we'll check out the trunk. Right, guys so here we have the trunk of the vehicle um, we do have a cover for uh, you know basically if you have some groceries and uh, you want to cover those up so nobody's looking inside uh, that comes with the vehicle um, beneath that we have a basically a rubberized uh, tray um, you know basically to contain any mess uh, that goes on back here um, and then as you can see under the mat it is a very clean vehicle no stains or anything like that and under this you actually have additional storage right over here plenty of storage beneath the uh, floorboard um, as we stated earlier this vehicle is equipped with a uh, tow hitch and this is your wiring to hook it up with the trailer in case you're towing a trailer you got the wiring all all set to go here Once again, guys, thank you for taking an interest in this 2011 Subaru Forester. If you guys have any, uh, any additional questions or concerns, uh, shoot them our way and we will be happy to get those answered for you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.